this is the Lenovo you know, Mix 720s box. And uh, we will take a closer look and uh, open up. Put that aside. And here we have, I think it feels heavy, so I think it's the keyboard. This is a Swedish layout, of course, and uh, yeah, the key, key travel is very nice. With a clicky, clicky feeling, and uh, I think I read that uh, it is one and a half millimeter key travel, which is very good for this thing, wise. So. Yeah, let's go on and see what else is in the box. This is the tablet, put that to the side. Let's see. Okay, here's the charger. And uh, it's um, 20 volt, 2 volt, 2 volt. 25 amps and 12 volts 3 amps and 5 volts 2 amps. So let's put that back in the box. And over here you can see that we have a stylus and there's a clip for connect clipping it on setting it in a USB port and uh, have the pencil attached. Um, and it's a battery also. With, this is a nice touch, very nice touch. Both the keyboard and the stylus is included. I think Microsoft have a couple of things to learn there. I'll put that away. And So this is the tablet. Uh, we have uh, audio combo uh, port here, three and a half millimeter. And here we have a Thunderbolt 3 port, USB Type C, Gen 2, of course. And this is um, also a USB Type A port. Which one of these should be? There's another one, and one of them should be uh, 3.0, and the other one is uh, should be uh, USB 2 uh, type, uh, type type A, but uh, protocol. And here we have uh, screws, uh, and I have read the. Uh, Instruction from Lenovo, the service instruction. I said, also looked at some videos, which, which I will be posting in the in the, the um, below the the video. And uh, here we have a micro SD card slot. And what else? Yeah, here's the speakers, it's the dual speakers, one at each each side. And. Uh, we have this uh, watch band style, Lenovo style uh, hinge mechanism. So let's see how this, how far it can go back. You can see it's, uh, I guess it's like the Surface, uh, Surface Pro 4, the same. Anger, anger. Um, but I think this is a much sturdier construction. This is all metal. There's no plastic. 
uh, on the Surface uh, Pro. It's uh, some parts is plastic because I had one before and that uh, plastic part broke and I had to send it to Microsoft to have it exchanged. So nice. Uh, what I will do next is uh, do an SSD upgrade uh, because on the other SSD I have it's a more clean version of Windows and I think all the drivers is in place. So let me make some space here and turn it around on a soft surface of course. And open up the cover or the cover with the stand. And then I have a um, Torx head, it's a T5. To remove the screws, I have to take off my glasses because it's very small. to do this upgrade anyway because 256 gigabytes is a little too small for my taste. If you want to do this please be careful and have the screws placed so you don't accidentally, so they don't have this um, because I, th I don't have to, I think it's hard to find this kind of screws. So I need a bit of plastic and uh, I start here. I put my fingernails under the under the glass carefully and uh, use the plastic card and not a tool of some kind because that will probably damage. To work my way around from this side. So now it uses. So open up carefully because you have a, a cable going to the screen. Take a look at this. I must close the thing and. This way. As you can see, we had an SSD drive here and with a film over. Okay, 
i alla fall. Vi kör det genom touch the connectors. This is um don't really recognize it. I thought it should be a Samsung also. But uh, the one to replace with is some um, Samsung SS NVMe SSD 960. It's a one terabyte as I told you. So let's mount it. So oh, let's just uh, assemble it again. And I think we start with the top. Let me push it like that. We check that it looks okay and it does. Put it on a, a soft surface to change to the Torx T5 again. Be very careful and check the, uh, if the warranty uh, cover is in operation. In most case, it doesn't. So, that was it. Okay, it has already started up. Uh, the bias set up. Look at the configuration. It should be in RAID mode. Strange, some strange uh, I don't know why. And we have to check on the information if the drive is is uh, if, if uh, the uh, bees can see the drive and here it is. Okay, and uh, let's check the boot order first. Okay, it's uh, on the top and exit exit save changes i haven't done any changes so probably isn't needed so let me see if it uh, boots up we'll connect the uh, keyboard oh, strong magnets So you see, this is an um, uh, old system I have used on another computer. And let me put in the password. It's a very nice typing experience. Well, 
That was that. Put it up very fast. This SSD is incredibly fast. Um, maybe should do some benchmarks later on. But uh, now to the more important stuff. Yeah. We shall so see if the uh, Thunderbolt connection works. And this is what I'm most excited about. As you can see, I have a display port to my GTX 1070 MSI card. And here is a um, Thunderbolt 3 cable that should go into the, into, um, the Type-C port on the side. So let's try. Yes, great, it worked directly, perfect. So this, uh, I'll do some benchmarks and uh, see if um, this is a Core i5 version, so it's uh, and uh, a Cable Lake version, 7200U, and uh, see how that compares to the uh, HP Spectre X360. Okay, bye for now. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.